So for the winter, I have a super secret location that uh, I have been able to keep my boat inside. Uh, and then what I've got going on here is I've got the overnight tarp on top to collect dust, obviously. And then underneath is I put that is the actual road tarp right here. Um, which it looks like it's come loose, but that's okay. Um, so I'll have to take these two off and we'll see what's underneath. Hopefully nothing out of the normal. Got the boat moved and got it close to a hose. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get all the antifreeze out of it, get the fogging oil out of it, get the battery hooked up. Um, we're gonna start it up and get it going. Um, right now I've got one of those C clamp things. I don't know what they're called, uh, but they they hook onto the hose and hook onto the <clears throat> onto the motor down by the prop, the lower unit there, and pushes water into it so it's not just sucking air um, and all that water is going to push out all the antifreeze um, and so we'll get that all cleaned up but uh, first thing we got to do is we got to um, check the battery um, reconnect it and make sure that everything is charged up properly and if not I'm gonna have to put the battery charger on it um, and get that thing going so it's 
really windy out here so if you hear it that's what it is i think the winds are blowing 25 30 mile an hour today so it, it's shaking the boat on the trailer too <laughs> so that's what that is so let's get to it and uh i say that a lot let's get to it okay So the battery is under this seat here. So we're gonna reconnect that now. Got everything, check the fluids. Everything looks good there. So pull this cover off and boom, it's the battery. So I put tape on the, the negative terminals just to keep them all together. There's three of them. Three different things going to it and just two for the positive here so you can kind of see it's cramped very cramped down here so what's nice is that it's just bolts to put on instead of tightening down the ones that go on the posts, so. And I'm not gonna record this because it's really tight. Very tight down here, so. Sorry. Well, there you have it. The battery is now connected. Yay. Boom. Positive, negative. Positive, negative. With any luck, any good charge. Turn the key of the boat and stuff will turn on. Alright. Oh. I didn't take enough stuff out of the boat. So that's the one that we want to move when we turn the key. And boom! Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's a very good thing. So it's not quite fully charged. But that's okay. Just uh, coming out from the winter. So we'll charge it up before we go out next time. We'll be good. Test the horn. Boop. Horn works. Good deal. All right. So next. Next is going to be getting the engine running. So we're going to hook up the hose and uh, get that pumping and hopefully turn the engine over. Oh, yeah, we're going to fill it with gas, too. This is the inlet right here. Right here where it sucks all the water in. Rushing by here and it sucks it in. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this thing here, the C sense. We're gonna cover up these holes as best we can. This way. Okay. So that's on there real tight. I'm gonna check the other side, make sure it's on all the holes. See if we can get a spot. Good to go. It's on there nice and tight. It's out of the way of the prop. Sink and turn freely. Let's go start the water up. Water's going, everything is going good. We're gonna start to turn it on, lower on, make sure everything's out of there. Should be good. It's been sitting all year. Gonna give it some throttle. Okay, there we go. 